face earth, we are going to remain. So let's go to the major thing. Food, clothing, shelter, Education. academics. Those are the things that take money. So let's break it down. Number one, food. You say three square meals. It's three a square or a triangle. Who told you <laughs> you must eat three times a day? That's part of the setup. So we have all been... Grow, oh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Where? Who told you that? Who defined it such? So even when you, are, so even when you are not hungry, you are asking for food. You ask yourself, hey, "Where's my lunch? Are you hungry? Hey, but I've not eaten lunch. Must you eat, eat lunch? lunch so everybody must go sit down as a family and say, "Okay, in this family, oh, from today, zero one 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 zero one zero zero one, whatever, you must reduce your food because you." Eat to live. You don't live to eat. Mm. If you eat once a day, you will not die. No. You're going to go through a period within two, three weeks, you will adjust. adjust. You'll be shocked that once a day is okay and you'll be healthy. Since Bala Tinubu was elected president of Nigeria on May 29, 2023, his policy decisions, including the removal of failed subsidies and the devaluation of the Naira, have plunged many Nigerians deeper into poverty. This situation has sparked widespread discussion among citizens and analysts. One analysis that stands out now was by Dr. Olumide Emmanuel, who had seen far ahead into time and had predicted that economic challenges would not improve fast, but in fact would become tougher. Dr. Olumide Emmanuel had spoken on TVC talk show Your View and had advised Nigerians to reduce their regular lifestyle's expenses, down to even suggesting a shift from the traditional idea of eating three meals a day. This seems to have become the reality of millions of Nigerians now, one year after the doctor's predictions. Dr. Emmanuel believes that while these policy changes which he endorsed as correct and may eventually yield benefits, the hardships they would bring on the masses would persist for a significant period. He had at a time emphasized that adapting to the difficult situation requires Nigerians cutting back significantly on spending. His insights, shared during their parents on the TVC program one year ago, remain quite highly relevant today. <laughs>